we have got a rare, ultra rare car. Only three people in the world ever ordered this car. 1963 Dodge Polara 500 convertible max wedge, or as Dodge calls it, the Ram Charger. You know what makes this one even extra special? On top of the crazy max wedge, cross ram with factory dumps, this is the high compression version, 13 and a quarter to one compression. This is above and beyond the max wedge. Ultra rare engine and an ultra rare convertible. Three of these ever made in 2006 that underwent a concourse restoration. All correct numbers, codes, parts throughout factory colors. And it's real. We have a copy of the IBM card in here, which gives the codes. This is in Daryl Davis's Ram Charger book. He worked at Chrysler and he had the microfilm. He can look it up and verify that this VIN number came with the high compression motor, Max Wedge. Uh, if any of you Mopar people have heard of Galen Govier, he's the Mopar guru. You'll pay him a lot of money to document your car. Not only did he document this car, but he owned this car at one time. Uh, we just acquired it out of a Mopar collection. There was about 60 Mopars sitting there where we bought this car. 133 miles since a concourse restoration. Factory race car, and I say that, big dual quads, has a manual choke, came with 456 gears in the back. You don't buy that unless you want to go do some racing. Now you can go to volocars.com, that's where you'll find 200 classic cars, all for sale like this one is. And that's where you find their price tags, even have monthly uh, payments as well. But for right now, that tops down, let's go for a spin. I was gonna say buckle up, let's go for a spin, but I don't even think it has seat belts. They weren't required yet. So most of the race car guys bought the sedans, the stripped down coupes. They went to the strip, they put roll cages in them, they raced them, and they won. These cars were killing it back in the day. Uh, so who would order a convertible? I'll tell you who. Somebody wanted to race on the street and win. You pull up next to this, the uh, 500 with the nice trim and the bucket seats and a convertible. You're not expecting what's under that hood until you get, uh, your, get your butt spanked at the, dra at the stoplight. So that's probably who would have ordered this car. Uh, so the body, it was a California car, it was sold new in Virginia, worked its way out to California where it spent most of its life. Uh, very clean body, not cut up like a lot of the uh, coupes were for tubs for big tires and that. Uh, so a very clean body. And it's been restored for almost 20 years and it is still looking beautiful. It's black and it is absolutely laser beam straight. All the gaps spot on, no rust, no bubbles. Shuts like new. All of this is fantastic, clean. Onyx black, they called it. That's the name of the color. Here's one little chip at the very edge. All this is looking fantastic. All beautiful, straight, clean metal, no rust, no damage. If it hasn't bubbled or cracked by now in 18 years, it's probably not going to. And then this red stripe, that just brings it together. That makes it pop. And all the trim was restored. This was sent out, you can tell, it was sent out professionally, restored, buffed, polished, straightened. This piece of chrome here is looking real nice. A little bit of black in between is looking sharp. The bumper, the tail lights, the cover for the uh, trunk lock, all of this beautiful shape. Power, convertible top, it's a black top. The weather strips are replaced, the top irons were painted. These are the correct spinner hubcaps they're in excellent shape reproduction white wall tires yeah back then they're little skinny tires all you all you got with that big engine under the hood uh, door handles vent window frames mirrors everything's looking really sharp yeah the 500 is the trim level comes with all the extra trim and the stripe and the bucket seats the grill is in really nice shape bumper, everything's beautiful. The outside of this car is stunning, but what you really want to see is the motor. Let's check that out. 
All right, let's see how it looks in the trunk. Okay, underneath the trunk lid is as glossy as the top side. The latch is new. It has the sticker. Of course, the jam is new. Or paint looks like new. Weather strip is new. Has a complete liner kit. That's the uh, like the board panels, the plaid mat. Well liner is new. The jack and spares all restored. Matching reproduction tire never used. If you're still on the fence whether you want to buy it, how about we throw in a max wedge? baseball cap. That should do it for you. Make sure you go to volocars.com, check out our inventory, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when new ones are posted. So the jams are slick, the latches are replaced, sill plates, weather strip, all that's new. That's a factory black and red interior, all reproduction and all fits really nice. It's a high quality interior. Love the two-tone, love the chrome along the door panels. So the dash area is all going to be very nice original. Now this is a push button transmission. You push it and drive, you got the park, that's how you put it in park. There is, uh, there's no park button, you got to use that. Uh, so all this is very good, original condition, 133 miles since it's restored. You have matching knobs on this side for the heater controls, uh, AM radio. Actually, it's a padded dash, a little bit of pad there. Nice clean glove box. Carpets were replaced, of course. The seats have been uh, restored, rebuilt. The seat I'm sitting on is nice and firm. Uh, and then, of course, reupholstered very nicely. This is a high quality reproduction upholstery uh, fit. Carpet on the back of the seat. And everything back here is just the same. It's kind of like four bucket seats. It looks just like the front. Uh, lights are working. Really in excellent shape. The little center console I skipped right over. That's very good original. So it has some patina. <laughs> Where are you going to find one? Red seat uh, visors look new. Pedal pads are correct. All right, let's check out the engine. Now, I was recently called the Max Wedge King. They are rare cars, but I've been managing to find them and, and sell them. Um, I've never had the high compression engine. I've only read about them. I feel honored to have this engine. Now in 63, they went to a 426, and I think they had the 415 horse. This is the four and a quarter horse high compression engine. All numbers and codes, the block, the heads, the intake, the carburetor, the rear distributor, all correct. Now, to fit this big setup in here, they had to pull the heater hoses out of the way. This is a unique bracket for this car. The exhaust manifolds they had to redesign, they come up and out of the way. The other ones were down low and it just wouldn't clear. Um, the way the uh, different hoses and lines are routed in here, the way the wiring is routed, it's all unique to this car. Some of the parts on the firewall are put in different places. And again, it's all to accommodate this big engine. Now, if you look under the hood, the bracing has all been cut out. And that's from the factory because it would close and it would hit the air cleaners. So a lot of modifications done or changes done at the factory just to fit this engine. Uh, so it is... Uh, that, that, that's like a race car engine, has a manual choke. Uh, original radiator, the pulleys, uh, all the components in here are dated and correct for this car. Correct battery hold down, obviously it's a replacement battery. Has the fender tag or trim tag is here. Uh, so yeah, really nice engine compartment. So, why don't we talk about the underside now? So underneath looks this pretty. It's all perfect metal, all gloss black. And there's also changes underneath the car from the factory. It has 10-inch drum brakes, 
uh, heavier duty suspension. And the coolest part, it has three inch pipes coming right off the manifolds and they're factory dumps, they're capped. You can crawl under there and take the caps off. You have factory dumps. When they're capped, then you have the full exhaust, the right part numbers on the muffler, turn down tailpipes. Um, everything's redone. All the suspension, the fuel uh, system, the brakes, everything was redone in an excellent shape. Looking up at the motor, it's pristine. Torque flight transmission. Now the rear end, it's a sure grip rear end. It came with 456 gears. The gears have been changed out to 391s to make it somewhat practical. 456 gears, you'd be carrying gas cans in the trunk. You wouldn't make it to a gas station. Uh, so there you have it. Extremely rare, uh, unique car. Great story, great documentation. Go to volocars.com. The salesman will help answer your questions, including how to get it delivered to your door, how to get it financed. Yeah, this is worthy of any collection. The best collections in the world. This car is worthy of that. Thanks for watching.